Remember that the number in front of x squared is known as a, the number in front of x is known as b, and the constant term is known as c. We will now use the PSF method. To find p, we are going to do a times c, which in this case is 6 times negative 4, which is negative 24. s is just b, which in this instance is negative 5, and f stands for factors. So what we want is two numbers that multiply to give negative 24 and add together to give negative 5. Now, the numbers that come to mind are 8, and 3. But of course, we need a negative in front of the 8 so that they can add up to negative 5. What we're now going to do is take these two numbers and rewrite the middle term. It's called splitting the middle. Let me show you how it works. So notice that I've written the negative 5x using the numbers 3 and negative 8 over here. We'll now factorize in pairs. So the first two terms and the last two terms. The first two terms, they have 3x in common, so we'll take that out. And for the last two terms, they both have negative 4 in common. Now you'll see that if we, if we take out 2x plus 1 from the left, it leaves 3x, and from the right, it leaves negative 4. And we've 